What's up everybody, Badass here with another Diablo 4 video. In this video, I'm just going to kind of go around the world and do a couple of side missions. I'm going to kind of ride alone for a little bit. And um, basically, honestly, I'm just testing out my new key keyboard. I'm testing out my new uh, microphone as well. Hopefully it sounds a lot better for you guys. I know uh, people have been asking me for commentary and um, it looks like I'm going to be putting it in just about every video now. So how to get a new mic. But um, yeah, hopefully it comes out a little bit better. Uh, makes me sound a little bit better and just a better experience for you guys. So, um, yeah, let's go in the world and just kind of screw around and um, test this uh, ice lightning build. And uh, this is still kind of a work in progress with this character. But as of right now, um, you know, I, it's feeling pretty good. I might tweak a couple things here or there, but, you know, I'm going to be posting these videos, so it'll be all good. But anyway, if you guys enjoy the video, please uh, drop a like. And if you want more, if you need more, remember to subscribe. All right, let's get into this. Awesome. Okay, cool. So let's kind of go through our character here. As you can see, I got a lot of things I can screw around with, so. I'm going to go ahead and make sure we're in Kavistad, which is the control base. And, um, looks like we're there. My bad. Cool. So, I, I know I mentioned my keyboard, but I am playing with on a uh, controller. It is a Thrustmaster Pro, and I really like the controller because I have a little bit larger hands and they fit me perfect. So the button placement is perfect and um, and it works really well. So if you have larger hands, I would highly suggest this controller. Um, it's really, really good. For PC, I would definitely suggest it for me. Let's go ahead and gain this uh, side mission. I got the old bread and these thumb rocks I found. The bread's not so bad if you toast it. My best sellers were my carved charger tusks. If you carve the right pattern, they're good luck. That's what Dad told me. I'm all out of tusks, though. And money. Oh, but if you bring me some tusks, I'll cut you in on the profits. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and put this over here. Okay, can't interact, interact with that. Thought my button wasn't working for a second, but I guess I just can't interact with it. Yeah, let's get along here. Huh. Okay, it's not letting me interact. Yeah, it's not letting me interact with these things. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I thought my controller was messed up there for a second, but... Huh, interesting. I wonder why. Let's go see if we can go to the blacksmith. Yeah, it's letting us, uh... So let's go to the vendor. Hard bargain. Huh. It's quite a bit of money, so anything that's the high value I'll sell, but lower value I'll just salvage. Most of this is probably worth salvaging more than selling, to be honest. Uh, see where we at here. You see, I'm trying to get it to Cobblestone. Why is it not bringing me to Cobblestone? Okay. Where is it at? 
Now I gotta find it. There we go. It's supposed to bring you straight to Kamastad. I may have to restart my game. It's not letting me do everything I want to do. Flawed. Alright, cool. So let's uh let's go over here. We need to ungem some of these items. Okay, so here we go. Unsocket them, I should say. Can't make anything, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the items in our inventory. <coughs> So I, yeah, I just switched all my magics around, so I might be a little fumbly finger with them. All right, let's go here. Let's this. Let's this. This should kind of salvage everything. Let's You gather so much shit in the world. I'm not sure if I should keep this. I'm not sure exactly what this does, to be honest. <laughs> I probably should know, but I don't. As for the druid, I don't want to do that. Want to do that. Let's what is this for? Pants? I don't think I'm wearing red pants. The red legendary pants or whatever. Yeah, I'm not. But they do have two sockets. What is this? Uh, 447 armor. It's a pretty big difference. Uh, I might keep those for a second. 478. See, I'm keeping these, even though they're lower level, because they have um, different passives and um, they're more rare, so um, they're just uh, um, let's see if these wraps are any better for us to wear. I cannot do that here. So I'm gonna put this in an inventory. See, it's healing received, meteor, doesn't really do me any good, so I'm going to go ahead and salvage it. Though it is more powerful, it doesn't really do me any good in my build. Um, this right here, it's a lot it's a lot less strong, so I'm just going to, I'm going to salvage it as well. Cool, I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple things in the inventory, and then we're going to move on to a couple of side missions. Oops. Passed it. So as everyone knows, I always run to my brother in this game. We kind of built our characters to play off of each other, so solo. Um, my character works, but it's kind of more built for, for running with someone, to be honest. Um, yeah, we're good at being socketed and stuff, so let's rock and roll. <laughs> See what we got. So the side missions here. Okay, strong moments we conquered. Let's go ahead and start from the top, I guess. Um, making monsters. Act three. We don't want to continue this because we want to do this with 100 proof. But we're gonna keep the side missions going. Fields of Ruin. I thought we started this. Okay. Return to land. That's probably where we were before. Alright, cool. That's where we were before. That's probably why we couldn't um, do anything in the world. We probably had to just return to him. to find him. Well, we could have done the unsocketing and everything here, but I think they didn't really let us do anything, so uh, we're going to have to go on the main road. I thought we were going to do. Yep. 
I, I could have swore I did this. But that's fine. We'll go ahead and do it again. sounds like there's something around. I think you did a really good job with this game. I think that the level design and the world is really cool. First time I've ever played a Diablo game and I really enjoy it. Kind of a shame that I haven't played the other ones because it's kind of up my alley with things I'm starting to enjoy like the Dark Souls series and uh, Elden Ring and things like that. Yeah, I could have swore I talked to this guy. Well, you don't right, disappoint. I'm doing it now. Unlike those wardstones. <laughs> Damn things didn't even last a fortnight. We'll see if mounting this bastard's head works better. Here's your gold, as promised. Cool. All right, finish that up. Yeah, like I said, with the character, it's a sorcerer, obviously, and it's something I'm kind of, kind of a work in progress. Uh, ice seems pretty powerful. Lightning is very really fun, so um, cool. So we can definitely work on some of our abilities here. There was one I wanted to start working on. I forget what it was. Okay, so let's make sure we got the ones that we that we're using leveled all the way up. So now I'll show you on the tree here. So for our regular one that doesn't use any mana, we're using the uh, arc lash. It seems like it's very, very good. This is excellent as well. Both of these um, are great, to be honest with you. Frost one probably seems a little bit better because it seems to do a tad bit more damage and it freezes. This one does more of a like a damage over time. But this one is this one's really good. But I like this because um, the arc element in this um, stuns. So you can stun and then gather the crackling um, energy and just arc clash them and it does you can do a lot of damage without using mana um, so especially when paired with this and not this uh this the frost nova which basically you smash the ground with frost and it freezes everything and you can just and it's but it's got a small aoe so you have to be close so that's why this matches with this you can kind of just arc lash them while they're frozen but um and you'll see you probably saw my last video if you didn't check it out um the chain lightning changed throughout many uh, enemies. And as you see um, here, da -da. it does produce crackling energy, which is basically uh, little orbs that you collect. And as you collect them, it kind of um, you kind of release energy from your body, like a like a lightning from your body. And uh, you can do damage like that, like a passive damage almost. So anyway, so we're going to go back to the top. So our regular uh, attack is going to be the arc lash and our set kind of secondary um, Elemental attack for the lightning is going to be the chain lightning. Um, and then for the defensive skills, we actually run three of them. We run the teleport, um, which basically just allows us to get out of situations. You can teleport through walls, things like that. And um, it's really good, actually. kind of gets you out of a lot of trouble sometimes. Um, the ice armor <clears throat> obviously creates armor of ice around you, especially if you're in a CQB situation or you've You've kind of frosted them and then you're hitting them with the arc lash and then all of a sudden um, they're kind of they get out of their frost. You could slap this on and you can continue the arc lash without getting injured and you can do a ton of lash, arc lash damage, um, if that makes sense. And you, it'll make more sense when you watch. And if you've seen other videos and other people play and they've used the arc lash, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about or if you've used it yourself. Um, this tree, I'm not really using anything right now, though there are some pretty good ones. Uh, Actually, to be honest with you, I mean, completely honest with you, I used this ball lightning and I, I hated it. I thought it was terrible. Um, I haven't used that. It looks pretty cool, but th this was terrible. So I don't know if they're going to fix that or whatever. But um, actually, with our ultimate, we actually get that sometimes, you know, and I'll show you how. Um, so we're going to go down to the ultimate tree. So we're using the uh, unstable currents, which kind of continues the arc lash and the chain, and it just stacks a lot of, of arc damage. Um, and it is pretty powerful. So 
Um, and it also makes you quicker too. So as you can see, it uh, increases your speed by 25%. And then the uh, you get even more crackling energy um, with the with this ultimate as well. So it just you can once you stack all those arcs, it really does a lot of damage. They're not super powerful by themselves. Once they start attacking, it really gets kind of kind of kind of uh, powerful, very powerful, I should say. So these are kind of the passives that we're running. Um, you know, critical chance. Um, and uh, more critical strikes as well, uh, more movement speed. So you can be a quick, uh, quick character with this using the overflowing energy passive. Um, so again, that's tied to the crackling energy. So this character is made for movement um, and just loads and loads of crackling energy, which is just chaining, chaining, chaining lightning. So like I said, not overly powerful on its own, but once it starts, everything starts to stack and it's very powerful. So, sorry if that was long-winded. Anyway, Barrel Moon. I know we just got this with uh, with proof. I think it was today. Legend Merchant, Collect Chusk. Okay, so this one looks like it's pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and track this one. Um, I'm not trying to do anything overly difficult right now. So... Let's go ahead and head over there. I should remember my buttons. Huh. Out of my so as you can see, there's a lot of cheating. But I am squishy. Overly powerful thing by themselves. But once you start to chain them together, it does get pretty powerful. Unfortunately, my character is a little bit squishy, kind of par for the course for um, for sorcerers. But hey, that's how it goes. He does go well with a uh, with the barbarian character if you're running with someone. Um, that's what 100 proof uses, and um, that's kind of how we built our characters. But, yeah. Ready yet? Sloppy? That was my fault, though. Kicking dead bodies. So I will get more comfortable with, the, with these move sets. Those are the classic crack again. That works. That's what kind of stacks, and that's what makes it powerful. There's the ice barrier. Makes you immune for a certain amount of time. It is what it is. Ice barrier, ice shield. Go ahead and back to here. I don't think we picked anything up, have we? Yeah, this doesn't really do us any good. That's okay. Keep trucking. Like I said, this might not be the most eventful video, but it is mainly a test, and um, we'll try to do some interesting things here. Kind of an overview of my character as well, so when you watch future videos, you'll kind of know what it is what I'm dealing with and rocking with. I don't think um, Hunter Proof has done a done a breakdown video of this character, which uh, he probably should. So we'll try to get him to do that. Maybe in the next video, we'll have him kind of explain that before we, we get going. Kind of, 
don't know how this is coming this way. So, uh, I think we have to just attack monsters or whatever and uh, gain tusks. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, there we go. That's the ultimate. As you see, it, it gets very powerful very fast. So, you kind of struggle at first, then when everything kind of kicks in, it's... And I do have the extra power right now, which is always a very good thing. Let's show how many tufts we have here. We're just kind of cruising around, um, trying to get back to the <laughs> road here. There we go. Yeah. Sit in our classroom. You can't do anything about it. That's why I like that um, one frost. Forget frost nova, I believe it's called. I think we need to stay in this blue area. Let's see. Cool. We get to go the fledged merchant. We've got two out of ten, so we need to continue looking in this area for more of those uh, animals or tusks. Not while I'm in town. Towns. Okay, so. I guess that new area is the town. Can you tell us where the area is? There's a lot of there's a lot of enemies there, but I don't know if those are the enemies. We probably should be going here. Staying in this area. The fledging merchant. Yeah, so I'll probably finish this up and kind of throw this video up. Because I want to do most of them with with the hunter proof. This is kind of our thing. So, like I said, mainly I wanted to kind of test a couple of quick pieces of equipment out and show an overview of the character. And hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Yeah. Once it starts stacking, everything's dead. Charge of Chuska. I believe that's four. I believe we have four. Yep, we have four. So let's continue. Continue getting these ten.
Yeah, once it's up the stack, it's over. And this game does tell you those same things, which is cool. Dark Souls is like shit. hits for me so I can just sit back and just do damage. It works well, but like I said, it can be a little... Kill that. Did he kill that one? It's pointing something up here. It must be over there. Okay. This I think we only have like six or seven of them. You got it. Eight. Hopefully, there's one here, and we can also. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Looks like we got the ten. Looks like we have the ten that we need. Yep, we got it. Cool. It's rock and roll. Yeah, we died once. I'm not surprised it happened, to be honest. And that's where just me getting better at the game as well. Wow, these are nice big ones. Not cracked or nothing. Thanks, Wanderer. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Like I said, this is mainly just kind of a test video for a couple of uh, new components and also just kind of an overview of the character as well. So I really appreciate you guys again coming in. I know there's a lot of different options. I appreciate your time. Please, if you enjoy the video, drop a like for the algorithm. It's great, for, especially for small uh, content creators like myself. And if you want more, if you need more, remember to subscribe. Like.